Welcome back to the studio. We're in Santa Fe again, and I'm going to be working on the chili ristra. That's just a bunch of chili peppers they string up in the southwest, and this is very common to Santa Fe and all of New Mexico. You see them in Arizona. This is just a very southwest thing. It's not any time of the year. Some people were asking me, do they only do that at Christmas? No, this is all year round, and, and this is they're just fun. Uh, you can buy the ristras, and then as the chili's dry, you can use them to cook with. I'm going to be uh, using my mall stick, which hooks over the top of my easel. This we is a hook that was designed to take clothes off of a tall rack in like a store. And we got these at the container store, and they just work very good for mall stick. And I brace my hand against it as I work on the, the restress. I had originally washed these in with a mixture of alizarin crimson plus liquin, and now they're dry and I'm coming back and adding the details of the chilies. So this is a mixture of alizarin crimson plus white. I've added just a little, this, this one mixture I'm using right now, I've added just a little bit of cadmium red light into that too. But I had, in my wash-in, what I did was I washed it in with the alizarin crimson plus liquid, and then I took a clean brush and kind of pulled out areas where to indicate where the chili peppers are. So that makes it very easy then to go back and start highlighting the, the individual peppers. I don't do this just real meticulously detailed. I kind of just follow what I have in the washed in area. Want to add some texture on these. Put my mall stick to the side and do a little work with just the adding some texture. Some thick brush strokes. I want to really get the feeling when this painting is dry you can just run your hand over those chili peppers and feel them. I'm using my bright brush. It's a square brush and it's very easy to put it sideways and shape those, those peppers. I'm almost sculpting them in with the paint. <clears throat> now I'm coming back with a mixture of my alizarin crimson plus the liquid and that gives me a nice dark that I can come back in and make the shadow areas in between the, the peppers. The depths, give them a little depth in there. get light and shadow. These are fun to do. And they for my paintings that I do for Santa Fe and Sedona, Arizona, these are very popular. People really really like these. They as I had mentioned the other day, they like to take when they visit those areas, they like to take a touch of that home with them. It gives them a feel for what they saw when they vacationed there. Okay, I've got the texture added on. Now I'm going to come back and add highlights on the peppers. Because as they dry, they shrink up and that light catches them the light catches those little shriveled areas. This may not be quite light enough. Let me add a little more white. And this is just white with the alizarin crimson. I clean my brush with tissue. I'm going to swish it around in the thinner and then clean it so it's nice and clean. The secret to nice, pretty, crisp colors on your painting is to have a clean brush. So I really clean my brush quite a bit. I 
just catch the edges of those peppers where that light catches them. I'm going to make even some lighter, a little lighter mixture of that. Because the highlights vary. They Some are, some are lighter, some are, are not as light. Again, I work pretty impressionistically. I'm not here to just do a delineation. I just want to give the impression of these peppers and that ristra. As they go around that back side, they're in shadow, so they're not catching the, they're not catching the little highlights. If you've never been to Santa Fe, it's a really fun place to visit. It's called the City Different. And just you can see by the style of architecture, it's very different from our usual American cities. This is a very historic town. I think if I remember correctly, it's the second oldest town in the United States. But I don't quote me on that. I'd have to really do some research to make sure before I said that's a fact. I know St. Augustine, Florida is the oldest town in the United States. And this bench is going to be yellow. You just see the top of it here in the, in the frame of the video. Now I'm going to add a few little highlights on some of these other chili peppers just to, they also get kind of flat planes that catch the sunlight. They're fun to paint. Jack and I are not spice-eating people. We, uh, our friends used to always call us bland and blander. So we would, we would get chili ristras to look at, but not, you know, we'd use them for decoration. We'd hang them on our front door. And always love the Southwest feel, but we were not, we're not spicy people, so we don't eat. Don't eat spicy things. But these are fun to look at, even if you don't cook with them. So here's our chili peppers. Pretty well gets it. Have a few of them pop out. The ends kind of curl up when they dry up. They're just really cool. So there we go. Add a little bit of spice into this painting. I appreciate you watching my videos. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and if you'd like to follow the rest of the progress of this painting, the step-by-step -step process, please visit my blog. The address is on the final frame of the video. It's also in the description below this, and uh, I just appreciate you watching. 
Thank you for visiting the studio and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.